Yo, what's up, people? It's Byron Rev V, sitting right next to Cam M. Tizzy. We out here, City Hall. Why are we here, Mr. Campbell? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here, and uh, hopefully we'll be receiving um, the resolution for the 10th annual Forgotten Soul Festival. Hopefully that the, the city, you know, would uh, pass the bill to uh, put us with a resolution, so. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, it's well deserved. Um, the, the festival's been going on for 10 years now, and um, I've been a part of it for about, about three, right. about three, four years, somewhere around now. And uh, it's always a good turnout. We always um, trying to help as much as we can. So um, the Forgotten Souls Festival is an awesome event, which y'all need to be there this year. Actually, we've been feeding the homeless uh, Mon and Must see for over 30 years. Yeah. It's just a festival. It's just the 10th annual festival. Yeah. But it's been 30 years plus feeding the homeless. We're we'll to see it in Memphis, South Memphis, Frazier, uh, Midtown, Downtown. Well, I'm glad to be a part of it. We're, we're at uh, City Hall right now. Hopefully they pass this. And um, it's something we can do. It's something we're going to do to the end, right? Oh, no doubt. We just shout out. We just shout out. No shout out. No shout outs. <laughs> no nerves of concentration no on this speech right here. See, it's shaking, it's trembling in my hand right now. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but we are here. We are here. Uh, and I believe that it's going to work to the good. We've been doing positive stuff in the community for a long time. On both ends, even though it's an age difference, but we've been working. <laughs> big age not a, difference. Not a big age difference. Don't, 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 don't let them fool you. Don't let them A big age <laughs> Big age. Big gal. <laughs> We're going to continue to work with God. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, always. Yeah, we love everybody. Especially Brother Cam, I speak for myself, look, everybody's a part of all the situations that we have and all the things that he have in general. And uh, we just thank God for uh, rocking. And uh, Brother Cam, T, anything you else want to say? I love you, Memphis. Peace. Peace, Deuce. Love y'all, man. Hug somebody, tell them you love them. All Definitely. Day. All day. One. Stop out of house and tell them hug me. <laughs> You know what? Free hugs at the house of the From now on. Yes. Now on. Yes. Free hugs. All right, let me get started. Mr. Chairman, thank you. This is Stan Uh, for those who don't know Mr. Stanley Campbell, uh, Stanley Campbell is somebody that I've known for about nine years. Uh, he and I have been uh, at the Stone Awards. For those that uh, know the Stone Awards, it's uh, a very, very nice event where you have a lot of individuals who get to enjoy not just art, but they also get to enjoy the city. And uh, something that I knew then about Stanley is he cares about people. And he has a special caring for those that are homeless. Something that I've been able to do almost every year with Stan is to help out the homeless during Thanksgiving. When we're so fortunate and blessed to have clothes to put on our backs and have food to eat, sometimes those individuals are not able to have that at that particular time. But uh, Stanley, every Thanksgiving on the corner of Madison Avenue and Claybrook, uh, does something very special for those uh, homeless. I know we have other things that happen in the city, such as the, <clears throat> the event at the Field Convention Center. But around that same time, uh, Mr. Stanley Campbell and others uh, help out those that need help. And he just doesn't do it for Thanksgiving, he does it out of the kindness of his own heart. He does not have to have a holiday to give him a reason to do such things. So with that being said, let me go ahead and read the resolution. And it says, whereas the Forgotten Souls Festival, funded by the Stone Awards, is celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Thanksgiving event, Thanksgiving Day event, which is held to help support and care for the homeless and less fortunate by distributing food, clothes, and toiletries. 
and also by providing health screenings and counseling along with inspiration and entertainment. And whereas the Forgotten Souls' mission is to restore dignity through community outreach to the less fortunate and address the negative stigma of homelessness for those who are considered to be an outcast by society. And whereas for 10 years, the Forgotten Souls Festival for the Homeless has welcomed the homeless presence and provided them with the fellowship and live entertainment from such artists such as platinum songwriter Harvey Scales and the late Mrs. Ruby Wilson. And whereas, in addition to entertainment, the Forgotten Souls Festival provides information from resource organizations such as the Memphis and Shelby County Health Department, the Blood Bank, Memphis Fire Department, the Workforce Labor Department, as well as local high school and middle school students. <laughs> Whereas Mr. Stanley Campbell, the CEO and founder of the Forgotten Souls Festival, saw a need to be the voice for the homeless after his two-week experience of choosing to live on the streets of Memphis in 1997. Mr. Campbell was impressed with the sense of community amongst the homeless and how they looked out for each other. And whereas homelessness can affect anyone and crosses all social and economic boundaries, due to the lack of understanding the causes of homelessness, many are going without much needed care and they have health issues that need to be addressed. And whereas for over 30 years, Ma and the Nine Mustard Seeds for those that don't know what that means, his mother, Delma McCarroll, and Mr. Stanley Campbell and his eight siblings have been servicing the needs of the homeless and less fortunate communities of Memphis. The House of Intensity Museum and Christian Fellowship Church facilitate and accommodate the Forgotten Souls Festival every year and are encouraging and urging other organizations and churches to join these efforts. Whereas the Memphis City Council recognizes Thanksgiving Day as the day of giving and applauds Mr. Campbell's vision for the Forgotten Souls Festival, a commitment to the ongoing process by bringing awareness to the condition of and how one becomes homeless, real change can only come from first understanding the true causes. Now, therefore, be it resolved that on this 10th anniversary, the Memphis City Council extends its sincere thanks to the Forgotten Souls Festival's continued outstanding public service, which is distinguished by its commitment to excellence to the homeless citizens of the Memphis and metropolitan area, adopted November 1, 2016, signed by myself and the Chairman of the Council, Kim Conrad Asimov. Thank you. It's been moved by Vice Chairman Ford, seconded by Councilman Morrison. All in favor, please talk by saying aye. 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 Congratulations. Ms. Michelle Moore can talk about the festivities on Thanksgiving. Um, some council members may not be aware of that we happened this year and under the subsequent years. Ms. Moore. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, distinguished council members, concerned citizens, and friends. I want to tie in the resolution to the overall purpose of uh, Mr. Stanley Campbell's humanitarian work that I'm Michelle Moore, the Sparks person for Cures. Cures is found by Mr. Stanley Campbell, who's past humanitarian works are being so gracious to solidify and codified by the city of Memphis today. The humanitarian services provided on the day of giving for over two decades all over the House of Intensity Museum, which is a nonprofit subsidiary of Cures, scale C U R E S and is an acronym for Colors United representing each stone. Cures sole purpose is to provide an avenue from which Mr. Campbell and his humanitarian coalition can continuously provide services to Memphis citizens. Examples include, of course, feeding the homeless on the day of giving every Thanksgiving, uh, providing services at the Forgotten Souls Festival on the 4th of July, and servicing veterans in conjunction with Operation Stand Down. Fundraisers consist of the All Right Affair, the All Black Gala, and of course, the prestigious annual Stone Awards. All of these continuous events are held to meet the Cures objectives. In 2016, 16, as of today, Cures continues to enrich lives, has provided services with partnerships to over 100 families. On Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day, the 10th Annual Forgotten Souls Festival, which you all are honoring today. Thank you so much for that. But that festival will increase this number. Cures 2017 goal is to extend these services by increasing the number of recipients and implementing medical services as well. Council members have given cures and affirmation with the wonderful token you provided to Mr. Campbell today. We look forward to working with you in 2017 to continue to enrich lives. 
Thank you for proactively being a part of something very special for the city of Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to say thank you to uh, the city council as well. Definitely, I commend you, Councilman Joe Brown, and Councilman Emma Ford Jr., um, in support of the God Soul Festival. I'd like to thank my people, my people, I must say, it's not here, but I have Mr. Bahala, Reddy's personality, and Irvine, and Miss, Miss, um, Miss Moore, I'm sorry, Miss Moore. Thank you all so much, and God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> now we are out. <coughs> Great things have happened. For the camera teaser. Yeah. Now I see it. That's your first. Awesome. The resolution. Thank you, Memphis. Yes, sir. The God's Soul Festival, Thanksgiving. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Right? We here. Please be there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Did everybody come out to support? Are you serious? Yep. I look a mess. Wonderful day. Recognitions for services. Work. That's mm -hmm. what work is. That's what work <coughs> is. Beautiful day. I've been in the middle of doing work, so now <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to go and get my fire before my meter runs out. But <laughs> candles are We don't need so cars oh, to be towed or pulled. The resolution does not pay ticket <laughs> fines or tow fines. So we have to move cars. <laughs> All right, man. Very joyous day. Um, we got it. It's ours. It's going to be at the house on Tizzy. I can walk. Yeah. We love y'all. Huh? Yeah, we are. Uh, we about to get out of here. Anything you got to say, Cam? Love you, Memphis. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, City Council, Councilman Edmund Ford Jr. Thank you for the resolution. Thank you, Memphis. Peace and love. You know it. That's that, uh, that's that, um, that soul train, that soul train, uh, uh, Dark Cornelius. Peace. Soul. Have to be, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got what you said. We got it, right, right, right. <laughs> we got it. We're going to sign out, man. Fire FB, man. I love y'all individually, man. It works. Our work pays off all day. Wow.